Hello all you Tales loving cosmonauts, as always I am Cosmic and finally we get to review Tales of Berseria which is the new role playing game, the latest in the Tales of series by Bandai Namco. Those of you who've watched a couple of my reviews before will know that I am a big Tales of fan, however the series has let me down a couple of times recently. My favourite Tales of game is of course Tales of Vesperia which I think hands down was probably the best Tales game of of all time and finally we have a new addition in the form of Berseria. The game shares the same game world as Zestiria however Berseria takes place many many eons ago in the past and the world is completely different to that of Zestiria. Now Berseria puts you in the role of Velvet Crow whose ultimate goal is revenge and essentially without spoiling the story tragedy befalls her and she's betrayed and she has to go on a quest of vengeance and i'm gonna leave it at that however this is what i'm gonna say about the story the story is absolutely fantastic from start to finish it is kick-ass it has probably my favorite characters since Vesperia in. I particularly like the female protagonist Velvet. I think she's absolutely fantastic the way that the story starts her off and then how the story develops her character. I love the cast of main characters, all of the people that you come into contact with. I think it's fantastic. The story, the writing, it was just so good and I was really pleased that Berseria was so good because I always felt that Zestiria let me down in so many ways. It was a good game, but it was just okay. It was, it, it never tried to push anything in terms of its story and Berseria is right on par of where I wanted it and I would go as far as to say that this is one of my favourite Tales of games of all time thanks to the story and the cast of characters. It's right up there with Vesperia in my opinion. I think that the new slant on the fact that Velvet and her crew aren't hero goody goodies like the people were in Zestiria. They are in fact driven by revenge, driven by you know very grey morals. They you know will use anything that they want to achieve their objective. They're not good guys. They're not necessarily outright villains either, but they operate within the kind of grey area. So sometimes they will do very villain-ish actions, I suppose. But it was just fantastic from start to finish, and it was probably one of the best. Like I say, tales of of stories in a very very long time. Those of you who have played Tales of games before know the fact that the story is one of the most important things of the Tales games because in recent times they really haven't changed much of the core mechanics of the game and the same is for Tales of Berseria sadly and it's something that was probably my biggest disappointment of the game is that Bandai Namco seemed to be very content to use the same formula at the moment over and over again and just replace the game world, replace the story, replace the characters but give you the same core mechanics and that is very much the case with Tales of Berseria. In terms of core gameplay it is the exact same as Zestiria which means that it falls into the same traps as Zestiria did in terms of not the yes the linear motion battle system is really fun lots of combos you know, the combat is pretty damn solid in that regard but you fall into the problems of the overworld gameplay so exploration is boring because there's very little of it. On top of that you have very linear levels and dungeons. Dungeons are very long and boring, there's not much to do and you do mindless busy work like go around flicking switches or you know solving very very easy puzzles that just consume time for no apparent reason. And it's just something that has really let the series down of late because ultimately I feel that as a Tales game you really should start as a series. You should really start to push the boundaries a little bit and Bandai Namco don't seem to wanting to do that which is a real shame and it's something that I feel ultimately holds this game back like it did Zestiria. It's something that at the especially towards the mid game late game era you find yourself for the most part running around mindlessly doing busy work fighting lots of enemies and it becomes really repetitive and really quite boorish and there's no real reason for that when you could have had a nice open world to explore or you could have had a linear system that had 
less clutter and more streamlined smooth gameplay that didn't bog the overall gameplay experience down. If you've played a Tales game before you'll be right at home with the combat system like I mentioned. It is the same linear motion battle system, it is the same art system, it's the same combo system so as you unlock new arts you'll be able to input them into the combos and then you'll be able to create your own combos. There's the equipment thing which again is something that always lets me down with Tales of games because you have this item progression but it's always consistently linear and you know you go from you know normal to amber to whatever else whatever else is down the line at the next major shop and it's something that has always annoyed me apart from the few unique items that you pick up from defeating rare monsters and that kind of thing you never really have this vast inventory of loot which has always been a real bugbear of mine because I always found that within the game world of Tales, they create these fantastic worlds and these fantastic IPs and you never get to explore them. You never get to see all the different lore and pick up items that are really interesting and have this vast inventory of loot and have this vast backstory and the things you can look up and it's always annoyed me about Tales because they have such great stories, they have such great worlds, they have such great characters but they never really flush that out in the game world. Why can't I explore and see interesting lore items? Why isn't there an expanded inventory system so that I can have a multitude of different things which would ultimately increase the replayability of the game? And it's a frustration I feel that a lot of Tales fans feel in the sense that this is now what the third game that is very similar mechanically to the last and it's something that's very very frustrating when you have such a great franchise and you want to see it do interesting innovative things with itself and it never ever does. That being said however it is more of the same which means you are getting a fairly solid game. The pitfalls that the gameplay falls into are something that is known within the series and while it is get a little bit frustrating mid to late game it's something that in Tales of Berseria in particular is less of an issue just because of how bloody good the story is. In Zestiria, I remember myself forcing myself to get through that game because I was just so, the tight, you know, the story was okay, but it wasn't gripping. I didn't like the main character. I didn't like many of the characters and it got to the point where I was forcing myself to play through the damn thing. Whereas with Berseria, it is very much like Vesperia in the sense that, oh my gosh, I cannot put this bloody thing down. The story is so good, it is right where it needs to be, especially after the disappointment of Zestiria. They've completely pulled it round. It's very similar, you know, in terms of its tone to Vesperia was, where in Vesperia you had Yuri who was absolutely sick of the lack of justice in the world so he takes matters into his own hands which means that he does dark deeds and Velvet is very much like that. She certainly still has a conscience but ultimately her drive and her goal is the most important and she's willing to sacrifice things along the way and it's just a story that remains fantastic throughout and it was nice to see that the skit system which is the in-game cutscene kind of system that you get to see a lot of funny moments and humorous moments or random conversations between characters. The skit system has been improved so that it's not just static anime characters anymore. There's a lot more animation involved with the skit system, which was nice to see. And there are little improvements throughout the game here and there, but overall it is very much core mechanically the same as the last game, which is a shame, but the biggest difference is the fact that the characters are so good. The writing, the voice acting is so good. The music is wonderful as always. And ultimately the story is that gripping that I could not put this game down from start to finish and would, like Vesperia, would be happy to play again in a couple of months. So ultimately for me, if you are a Tales fan, it is an absolute must have of the series. I think it is right up there in my top three of all time favorite Tales of games. If you haven't played a Tales of game, this is a fantastic place to start, I have to say, as a game that is, while it's set in the same universe as the previous game, it has no direct correlation in that regard, and the story is so good that it, it doesn't really need any 
context or pretext to it and so as a new player coming into this series for the first time it is probably this and Vesperia are probably the two best starting places for to get into this series because I think it's utterly fantastic and I think that if you enjoy if you've never played this type of game before if you've never played a Tales of game before and you enjoy strong narratives with a cast of characters that's great you enjoy lots of humor embedded in your game as well as those you know, tense, serious, dramatic moments, then Tales of Berseria is absolutely fantastic in that regard. So for me, I certainly recommend it. And my hats go off to the writers because this is a, certainly a story that if you hadn't written those characters correctly and you hadn't put in the humour, you hadn't put in certain events, this tale of revenge could have, you know, fizzled out real quick, but it never does. And the writers and the voice actors did an absolutely fantastic job in bringing these characters to life. So I certainly recommend it. That is my review of Tales of Biseria. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and make sure to share the video anywhere you wish. And as always, I will see you next time.